Welcome to Texas World Speedway. This should be a very exciting race. And we have another big game changer. Driver! Start your engine! So this track is two miles long, but it acts like a super speedway. I think there's something wrong with the 18. Or just a bad start. Okay. So we haven't been here for a while as well. The Cup Series has returned. A lot of fans excited for this. The drivers, uh, they not everyone has raced at this track. I don't think. Uh, at least this one, this version, with all the revamp and the repaving stuff, all that fancy stuff. Yep, there's a lot of drivers who have not, never raced here before. This should be exciting. You know, a lot of big wrecks happen, usually at the backstretch. So that's another thing to watch out for. Remember the bottom lane, not a lot of drivers know this either, but that bottom lane in turn four, it's gonna get pretty slip slippery. That's not where the groove's supposed to be. Well, yeah, that's not where the groove is. Well, unless you have like, unless you have a good setup, then your car wouldn't be all slippery and stuff. Some drivers have done it before. Yeah, this is gonna be real challenging for the championship contenders because none of them have raced at this racetrack. I don't think. Well, at least in this league. So the pace car is in. Here we go. We're getting ready for the green. Jacob Robinson sitting on the pole. David Brandon the 35 in second. Green flags out. Here we go. Nice start for the one. 24 to the inside. Three cars go to the inside already. Not a lot though. Three wide. More three wide racing. Yep. The passes are done in one and two. Now this is going to get real tight. This is where most of the wrecks happen. Nobody wrecked yet. There's the 20 right behind. The 1 is all over the back bumper. There are 4 wide all the way at the back. Side by side for the lead. Who's going to lead the first lap? And it will be John. He just got it. We Hopefully that will be the finish as well. That close or even closer. There's the 2 to the inside. Trying to get the lead here. Uh, they might wreck this time. Oh, there goes Mason Powers. Can he save it? Yes, but they're wrecking behind. Got a couple of them. Oh, 92. Oh, he's going to go upside down. Caution. Race the back. Side by side for the lead, and it will be Rob. Robinson. He got it. Just got past John Maggie Jr. So the caution is out. The two's the leader. We'll take a look at the replay. Mason Powers, he had his teammate pushing him. For like, yeah, for like two laps. They were, they were starting to nose the tail. Now watch this. I think Buck Johnson went up and Guff went down, went back down. But Powers had a nice save. But then the 40 goes around and then the 47 back there, the 13 ran into the back of him. And look at that 13 is sideways. Even though with a lot of damage, he still that was a good save. Watch the 92 on his side. Does not go over. And then the 13 finally lost it and spun around. Uh, rewind that. Oh, I think the 34 clipped the 60. Right there. And then, yeah. Jordan Fisher in the 6. Lots of damage on his car. And, oh. Okay, Michael got into the back of Jordan Fisher. So, that's what sent him around. Uh, let's take a look at the second wreck. The 47 got turned into the wall by the uh, points leader, Brendan Nicholas. Riders... Bounced off Ryder Smith or Smith went up. So the 13 runs right into the back. It gets turned. Almost gets turned. And look at that car. He's sideways. 38 as well. 31. I think he just nearly missed it. Unbelievable right there. 13 goes around again. Everyone's still scattering. Riggs gets up into the wall as well. 31 through the grass. And the 11 AJ Green 
wrecked, rigs wrecked again. Lots of drivers wrecked again. Utter disappointment for a lot of drivers this season. And they want this season to end right now, but we still got a couple races left. And oh, the two teammates run to the back of each other. We'll take you back. Alright, we just got back. So we're underway once again. So with 34 drivers left, how many are left in contention? 17 has his hood ripped off, James as well. 13, I mean no, 33 and 18 battling over there, they're all the way at the back. Trying to get as much positions as possible. And the 20 takes the lead back, got a big shot from the 1, and here he goes to the inside. Side by side for the lead here. Main keys on the 21 back there as well. He has his Michigan set up right here, so no problems today. Four wide, here we go. Look at Dalton Johnson in the 24, gonna make it four wide for third, entering turn one. He backs out the throttle. Just doesn't want to make the situation even worse. Three wide is already dangerous enough here. Well, actually, not anymore. It used to be. And here comes the two to the inside. Man, Keys tried to block him and he shoved him all the way to the bottom. You see right there how close that two was next to that white line. You don't want to go all the way to the bottom. Or else you're going to get held back. Oh, you have to slow down. Patrick Mew not going to wait. He's pulls to the inside near the white line. Dalton Johnson in the middle. He's still trying to push it. Will he retaliate? I don't know. He didn't appreciate that move by Keys. Matt Dalio in the 10. I thought he had a chance of winning this championship till all those wrecks happened. With three wins this season, he's sitting somewhere in the top 20. Missing one race, and of course that was the 500. And there goes the 27 again. He's trying to get, trying to do something. But no one's going to go with him, so he's just, you know, wasting time. He might lose a lot of spots by doing that. Actually, well this time he stays behind Matt Dalio. He's actually first one in the fourth on the bottom. Man, I love this track. The track's perfect. Yeah, not perfect, well, kind of is. Well, I think it is. Let's take a look at the drivers at the back. James Bowles, 34th. Last car out there. Ryder Smith, Cameron Mitchell Riggs, Sam McMillan, Peyton, Buck Johnson, Jared Brandon Nicholas, and right there in 27th. He's in a bad spot right now. There's the 31 in 20th. Well, 20th when he crossed the line. Back to the front, Matt Daly was taking the lead. Man, they're really going at it now. Too wide for the lead. Side by side again. And two back to the bottom. John Magna Jr. went too low. David Brandon at 35 trying to get around the outside. Patrick Mewin leaves him alone, goes to the middle. That's a couple laps to the halfway point. We only had one caution so far. That's a big surprise, man. One loose. Saw him slide up there. Could have took out the 21. So Matt Dalio up front, trying to go for his fourth win before the season's over. It's up and down season for Matt. Now well, here we go, four wide again. And they want to. That's not going to happen side by side. A lot of aggressive drivers today, 2 and 27. The only two takers to go all the way to the bottom, trying to make it four wide. Whoa, trouble! Power spin it out again right from the ponder. Oh, there goes Eric Powers and Michael Dalio. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Alfred Green collected. And a cha uh, one of the championship contenders as well. Not too much damage. Nick Persols, Jennifer Dalio. Caution flag is out. Once again, makes some power spins out and pretty much like, saves it. Or at least doesn't wreck. Wow. What are the odds of that? Uh, it looks like he has a bit more damage than last time. Maybe. I think the rear end's got some. Actually, no, it's clean. It's actually pretty clean. Matt Dalio, the leader. We'll take a look at the replay. Mason Powers gets turned again. Watch this. 
Harrison Ponder got a big run. He went up, but he had his nose stuck in just a little bit and clipped Powers and spun him in. Spun him out. Well, actually, no. Got the force Powers into Powers. And then Eric goes back up and gets into Michael Joshua Dalio. And then they go, well, 15 kind of saved it with the wall help. And then there they go. Alfred Green. Oh, this is not what he needs. 31 also went around. But the 25 and the 5 did a good job avoiding it. The 31, uh, not too much damage though. 22, another championship contender. Zero wins this season. Um, but he's still kind of up there. Ponder lost a run damage. I don't know about Payton Keys. This is a very fast track. And you see the hood is just lift up a bit. I don't know if he's going to get go to pit road and have that thing repaired. Everyone else, able, well, those drivers were able to make it through. Payton in 51. There's Powers. Kevin Carter, not too much. Powers, I don't think so. Nick, not too much either. Jennifer Dalio, uh, enough to slow down, looks like. And, yeah. And James wasn't even was that slow. He couldn't even catch up to these drivers. That just wrecked. No offense, but, you know, it's cars. Like, pretty much done for. Clint going 185 miles an hour, or 184. Isn't enough. It's considered slow at the track. That track like this. Well, that's pretty obvious. We'll take you back now. Alright, lights are off. 34 drivers left once again. No one retired from that wreck. Everyone remains on the racetrack. Alpha went down, had his hood ripped off. Everyone else pretty much stayed out. So Alpha was the only one taker. So here we go. We're getting ready for the green flag once again. Space car is heading in. Here we go. Coming to the green. There it is. Green flag. And no. Oh, David Brandon spun the tires. John Magna Jr. as well. Mute to the outside. And it's only spun it real bad. He was going to stay on the outside right there. He's going to let the Tony go, it looks like. He was hoping for someone to go. And here comes Rob Robinson trying to make it three wide. Two wins this season. Pocono and... Uh, what was the other track? I don't know, but anyways. So David Brandon has taken the lead away. Here comes John in the 20. Trying to get that lead back. Does not need it. Obviously. Pretty much. Jacob Robinson the one is in second. Rob Robinson in the two up to four. Rusty Bobinski trying to go for his third winning season. Now he could have had a shot at his championship. He ran all the races and he ran full time, but he didn't land to a, to a full time ride until Joe Gibbs decided to pick him up after signing for a one race steel contract. Jacob Robinson up to the front now. Pole sitter. In the lead, Will Burns to the inside of Parker. Hate him back there. He's gonna try to make it four wide. He don't care. He's gonna make it four wide. Okay, look. The driver's actually made it. Well, able to make it through four, and Hayden made it four wide. So, I guess he got lucky there. You see a lot of drivers who have not a lot of good races this season are up front. John has not won one race yet. He's in the 20. I don't think any of his teammates have won. Other than the 19, of course. Two's gonna go with him. Paxman split. What's going on here? Maybe someone checked up or something. I don't know. But look at Fitzwater. He's all over Hayden. He might dump him. No. 4Y. 4Y. A little bit of contact. Wow. That was close. They're still making contact. No one's giving an inch. Nobody is. Everywhere you go, there's some sort of action. Back at the pack might have some action as well. 22, trying to get past a 9. Trying to get as much points. 31's back here with this slow pack, going 203. Compared to the other drivers, going like 210. Yeah, they're in the corner, so that doesn't count. Oh, nearly four wide there again. He might wreck this time. Fisher's just pushing his way through. He made it out of that wreck. As well as the 25. And there in the middle. 
Mason Powers on the 41. He spun out twice and still in this. Daryl Johnson. Yep, here he goes. Oh man, if he went any lower, he could have wrecked himself. Could have spun out again. Four wide, maybe. Oh no, 24 got a big run on the outside. Everything seems to be a bit more calmer now. 20 is the leader with the two behind. Just realized we have less than 10 to go. Got caught up too much in the race. Got caught up in the race. Yeah. Single file from first to. let's see here. Sixth. No, seventh. Seventh, yeah, seventh. My mistake. Still side by side here though. Five Fisher. A season he probably wants to forget. Especially Pokemon. That's a race he really wants to forget. Ever since then, he was so close to winning that race. And he never got it. Here comes Matt Daly on the 10. Three wide, maybe. Nope, side by side. Rob is back up front. Takes the lead. Trying to go for his third win, I believe. Oh, yeah, Rob won Meadowlands. Yeah, that was a track, right? Yeah, he won Meadowlands. Alright, now I remember. Will Burns. He's right there as well in this mix. Rusty Bominski. Right there in the 19. No running part time. I say he had a really good season. And oh, contact! And they saved it. That could have took out Parker and Rusty. Three wide. Parker slowed. They slow, kind of slow after that. They had to recover. Didn't get off that into the corner that well. Matt Daly up front again with five laps to go left at Texas World. That could have called another. That could have bring on another caution here. These drivers are racing aggressive again. They've regrouped. And now they're going at it one more time. Oh my God! They're still making contact. David and Jacob right there. Close one. And someone's gonna might get a tire rub from that. Matt Daly in ten with a big run. Will he pull to the inside or will he just wait? Oh, there he goes. Side by side, no help. So Rob will lead that one. Four wide again. Jacob to the bottom. Parker in the middle. Fisher up top. Will Burns all the way to the top. Still four wide. Oh, this is not gonna end well. Oh, look at all that contact! And there they go again. They saved it again. No wreck. The one falls back. Forty-six once again gets hit by someone. Or he hit someone else, I don't know, make contact with the left or right side. A two is still leading this thing with Matt Nalio in second. Hayden with no help. I think he wants to use the apron. Oh my god. Three laps to go. I think these are the gonna be the four drivers that we're gonna that have a good chance at, this, at winning this. Well the five's getting a big run. Make that five cars. Okay, they've calmed down again. But once they drop that white flag, I know they're going to go at it. Well, they got it. It's the last lap. Better make your move. Parker slides up. Matt Delio and Rob Robinson are pulling away. Side by side. Here we go. Two to go. Two laps to go. I think it's going to be down to the two or ten. 20 and 21 having their own battle for third with Fisher. Oh, no. Not at a time like this. No, we have two to go. We're about to close on the white flag. Uh, there are three wide back there to the bottom. Well, they're about to enter the corners. Oh, Keys gets going to get held back. Well, he pulls to the middle. Matt Dalio with the big run. Coming to the white flag. We're going to finish this thing under green. White flag is out. Everyone scatters right behind. Mew now being held back by James. And he pulls to the inside. No patience now. The 2 and 10 going at it. Who's going to win it? Rob's trying to hang on. Matt Dale getting those runs. But he's a bit too far. He's going to drive it in hard. In turn 3. Hoping for the 2 to make a mistake. He's trying to get a big run. To the outside. Not close enough. Checkered flag is out. Third win of the season. Rob Robinson takes it at Texas World Speedway. And James almost ruined that he almost ruined that he kind of ruined it just a little bit very close one very close they catch him with two 
laps to go. Unbelievable. And Rob hanged on. And he wins. Matt Dalio came close. Third was John Magner Jr. Fourth was Fisher. And fifth was Rusty Bowninski. Let's take a look at the four race results. So Rob Robinson, Matt Dalio, John Magner Jr., Ramian Fisher, Rusty Bowninski, Jacob Robinson, David Brendan, Zachary Fitzwater, Blaine Keys, and Mason Powers. Your top ten. What a race that was. We only had like two cautions. Only two cautions and how many drivers out? Eight cars. And one driver finished lap down and that was James. So a total of 34 finished. So there you have it. On to move on to uh, race 38 and 39 and race 40 at Homestead.